It's the one and only original GC3, and I'm in the place to be, lovely Arizona, where we are at a cool and a lukewarm 108 degrees. I hope all of you guys are staying cool at home in your AC, or you're back out there joining me from California or Hawaii, chilling on a beach, sipping on some pineapple juice, and, and uh, thinking about us here in Arizona as we are cooking. Anyways. Love to be here, Arizona, home of the Phoenix Mercury and the Phoenix Suns, unfortunately. I mean, man, disappointing. Anyways, we're back again. Number 38. Episode number 38. And I got a special episode today. Super stoked. I'm your co-host. And you guys may know him. And he's one of my guys. We've known each other for a few years. And uh, we built a solid relationship and friendship over the years you know super excited to bring him on so without further ado i can bring on the man the myth the legend coach lombardi what is going on coach big george how are you did you say it was a lukewarm 108 up there in Phoenix, Luke 108 over here, or like 103. Wow. I don't know. It, it feels the same wow. to me. You better get a jacket. <laughs> you better get a jacket. But hey, it's great to be on with you again. I'm really excited about this episode in particular. Um, I think the audience is really going to be excited to see who we got. So we're going to have some fun tonight. So, you know, I'm over here. I'm looking at my watch. All right, and I got to tell you, it's about time. You know what time it is? What time it's is it? Time. And without further ado, we're going to bring on our special guest, Little Prime Time. Annie, hey. what's going on? Hey. How are you doing this uh, this evening? I'm doing awesome. How about you? Oh, I can't complain. So, you know, this is a big week for us. You know, on the boys' side, we got Section 7. We got all the college team camps across the country. Um, and then this weekend is, is very special because I am sponsoring a team. I'm actually sponsoring three teams. I got a boys high school team and two girls high school teams called the GC3 Stars. And we are participating in we are participating in the the tribe athletics uh native american junior nationals against other indigenous players so it's just a great opportunity for those kids um a lot of some of them haven't even played out of state so it's just a you know for for them to come from hawaii out to arizona is just such a blessing and it's super fun so i had my boys team practice today um they they arrived kind of early so they're here then some of my girls, about a handful of my girls arrived and wanted to get some work in. So um, we had them out at Inspire Courts working out with Coach Paul Suber. And uh, it was just it was fun. I was actually in Tucson earlier this morning as well. So um, my nephew, Isaiah Elsis, is going to be a freshman at Micah Mountain High School down there in Vail. So I have him participating on one of my teams just to get some extra reps. Um, he's going to be playing on my boys team as a reserve. And, um, that way I can kind of assess him and see, you know, what he needs and, and see how we can, um, I can help him and, and get him, uh, get him plugged in and, um, getting him ready for the next level. So, but how was your day? Um, uh, uh, prime time. It was great. Yeah, it was amazing. I really enjoyed it. So, so what did you do? So what does your summer look like? You know, now you're out of school. I know you're playing club ball. Who do you play club ball with, um, you know, right now? Um, I'm playing club ball with, for Sunnyside, um, Supreme, and Swarm. So, yeah. Wow. So you're super busy this summer. So, you know, tell us, um, tell the viewers, you know, first, you know, what class are you? And uh, how long have you been playing basketball? And what made you start playing? Um, I am class 2031, and I have been playing basketball for a little over a year. So, yeah. Really? And 
what made me fell, fall in love with basketball is I just like started playing it and I just fell in love. So yeah. that's awesome. You know, it was the same for me when I was, it was like in, in the third grade when I first like started playing, I mean, I started with soccer and baseball and, um, you know, for me, like the ability to put the ball in the hoop and, and have that, like, wow, scoring, you know, a basket is like at the palm of my hands versus baseball. It's like, ah, you got to hit the ball and then you got to, you know, make your way around. And then, then, you know, to score a point, it, it, you have to really work for it. And, you know, I mean, all sports you do, but basketball is a little more fast paced and fun for me. Yeah. So my next question for you before I pass it, pass the episode off to Coach Lombardi is, you know, what, what, how did you get the nickname Little Primetime? Because I, I love it. It's unique. You know, it's kind of a commemoration to, to Deion Sanders, but, and, and I can see why they call you Little Primetime because you are actually playing up in even a high school division and making plays and, you know, you played at my event playing two or three grades up earlier in the spring before the live period. And, like, I was watching your confidence and and the way you played, and it just was amazing. Like, I'm like, yeah, this, this young lady is going to be special. You know, I, I can't wait to follow her career and see that unfold. So I got the, the nickname Lil Prime Time from football because I used to play tackle football and all that. And when one of my favorite players was Deion Sanders, and just people started calling me Lil Prime Time because of how tough I was with football. So, yeah. Wow, that's super cool. And uh, it's awesome that you know Deion Sanders because he, you know, it's been a while since you've been in the league, and, you know, he was uh, definitely uh, an athlete before his era because – Besides being a talented football player, he was also talented in baseball and basketball as well. Yeah. So now I'm going to bring pass over the, the mic to Coach Lombardi, and he's going to have a few questions to ask you. So go ahead, Coach. So to to kind of add on to what what George was saying, young lady, you you haven't pl played basketball that long, but you're really really good at it already. So you know, is it something that you put a lot of time in? Or are you just kind of a naturally a good athlete, like sports come easy to you? Or, you know, how did you get to this level that fast? What do you, what do you, how, how do you think that happened? Definitely my dedication for the game and my hard work and my attitude and my coachability. I feel like that has a lot, it has a lot to do with being able to play basketball. And so I see you doing a lot of, I see you doing a lot of drills and stuff, you know, like at the park or near your, your neighborhood and stuff like that. Is that, that something that you do pretty regularly? And, you know, is it something that you do daily or, you know, how, what's your routine like? Yeah, I play basketball daily. Um, I had camp today. I had an eight-hour camp with the U of A girls and all that. So, yeah, it's kind of a routine to play basketball every day. Nice, nice. So the other thing I wanted to ask you was, you know, I see you playing a lot in <clears throat> not only with it looks to me like you're playing with older girls, but you're also playing in some levels with older boys. Primetime, what's that like when you're playing with 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 boys and you're torching them? How do they handle that? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know, really. They're they. It's just really fun to play against boys. Like, yeah, it's it's fun to play with girls, but I like playing against like, you know, boys and girls. It's yeah. really fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, George, I don't know how much you've seen. I've seen her play a lot with, uh, with boys, and she does the same weather no matter who she's playing against. So it, it's really fun to watch. Um, so, are there any players other than? Are there some high school girls or? you know, girls that you've been around that you look up to and kind of like for role models for you and pattern pattern your game after? Yeah, I look up, I, I look, Kayla's not quite in high school yet, 
but I look up a lot to her, and she she's a really good role model for me. And I just like love watching her play because it has a lot to do with my gameplay. And you're talking about Kayla, her last Kayla. name? Kayla Del Rio. Kayla Del Rio, and she's another young lady down here that's really good. George probably knows who she is too. Um, and so, and what about WNBA? Do you have any like favorite WNBA players or college players? Yep. Um, for WNBA, I love to watch Brianna Stewart, um, Caitlin Clark, and especially Sabrina Ionescu. Yeah, those are those are awesome players. I, I could see you maybe being a Caitlin Clark one day. You look like you. You're on your way. So. We're li really looking forward to following you. We're, you know, I know that <clears throat> I've been following you a little bit for a little while on Instagram. I haven't really ever had the chance to meet you. I know that you play with some of the girls that I've coached in the past. And so we've kind of um, know each other kind of through the grapevine a little bit, but we're really looking forward to meeting you in person and having you out to some of our events. And I know you're going to be at the superb 60 showcase on july 5th and there's some really really good um girls that are going to be at that showcase and and that's going to be a great opportunity for you to kind of measure yourself against some of the top like eighth graders and middle school girls in tucson so we're really looking forward to having you at not only that event but more events down the road so thank you for coming on with us tonight thank you too um I wanted to take a little time to appreciate all of my supporters and all that. Um, my family, my friends. Uh oh, yeah, we uh, we lost her. So let let me bring her back. <laughs> it's okay. We're back. We got you back. <laughs> yeah, and and definitely, I'd like to appreciate God and especially GC Three Hoops. No, thank you again so much, you know, Annie. I appreciate you, appreciate your support, and appreciate your dedication to the game because basketball is, I'm sorry, is the greatest sport on earth. And, you know, I have so much to give back. And, you know, I see a lot of myself, and even like my little sister. You remind me of my little sister, Brittany, who was a really good guard back in her day. And uh, she's actually still to this day um, one of my favorite players who, who I – had the opportunity to to watch you know growing up and you know even though i was older i did look up to her and her game because uh she just was so good with it and it just was natural for her she really played hard and you know again you know shout out to my sister Brittany out there in hawaii love you so much uh, little sis but um yeah thank you again for joining us and uh i'm gonna dismiss you and i can't wait to have you back so have a good day, and we will have you again on soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Coach Lombardi. Thank you, GC3 Hoops. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye, Annie. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys. So Coach Lombardi and I, you know, we're going to be in the trenches this weekend. Um, so make sure to stay tuned on our Instagrams. That's Instagram.com. You know, backslash, you know, GC3 Hoops. You can follow Coach Lombardi on his Instagram, Southern AZ Hoops Review and Elevate Sports Promotions. All right. So make sure to tune in because this weekend we're going to bring some coverage of the Tribe Athletics Native American Junior Nationals, which is going to be in Mesa, Arizona at the Arizona Athletic Grounds. 306 teams, Coach. How do you feel about that tackling? 306 teams are evaluations. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I'll tell you, George, I'm so excited to cover that event because I, I've never been to that event before. And I've heard, you know, the more that I get into basketball here in Arizona, it, you know, the native nationals is, is one of the biggest events in the, in the, in the, in the U S 310 teams, I think are coming all the teams are really, really competitive. There's a lot of, lot of great 
athletes that are playing and there's going to be some kids that are going to be getting some opportunities that normally wouldn't get that. So, and that's what you and I do, right? We, we try to cover kids, get them exposure, get them on social media, promote them, get them on podcasts and try to get other, you know, people to see them and recognize them and, and, and hopefully they get, you know, the opportunities they're looking for. So this is a great event. I, there's a bunch of kids that we're going to watch in particular, and I'm definitely going to watch your all-star team in particular, the girls from Hawaii, which, and the boys, and they're already here. Like you said, they're already here kind of practicing and getting ready for the tournament. So it's going to be an awesome event and, and we're going to be, you know, providing a bunch of coverage on it. Yeah. Again, you know, thank you for your support. I know, um, you know, we're going to be working hard as a staff. You know, we got CK coming in. We got Leo Scott from Western Arizona. And, uh, you know, we're going to tackle a handful at a time because, you know, there's too many kids, too many prospects. We can't we can't watch them all, but we're going to have a group 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 effort. We're going to work as a team and we're going to take on a handful at a time and, you know, just promote, you know, the best kids that we, we can see that weekend. So super excited. It's going to be well, fun. Coach Lombardi, Thank you so much. And um, thank you, George. You I appreciate, appreciate you. it. Appreciate you. See you right. soon. Thank you. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up episode number 38. That's little prime time featuring Coach Lombardi. So you know what? This is the best because it's recorded and you can run it back to relive the magic over and over again. Until next time. Aloha.